really smoky fire out here today. We just got out to this fire scene and it is horrendously smoky. So if you're at Denver International Airport, you go just a little bit east by about a mile, you're basically in the Watkins area. I'm not quite sure where all the rest of the media is. We may be hanging out with the firefighters right now. A bunch of fire trucks and big fields, and right now a lot of these fields threatened a lot of homes. Sounds like maybe a couple of structures got caught up in this mess. Hopefully they weren't homes. We should probably, I should probably pull over and shoot that. that. At the corner of Electric Street and what is that? 40th. 40th Avenue. Look at that. That's a bunch of hay bales. So far we've found hay bales on fire. I haven't seen those structures that they're talking about. I'm hoping they're not homes. Hopefully they're just outhouses or maybe like small sheds or something. It's very strange. Okay, so we're in just dirt right here, but look, non-scorched, scorched. All this was on fire earlier, it would appear. So it must have crossed the road. You're right. I see where you're going with that. Right now I'm working in the back of a news jeep, which on a nice day like this is my office. That guy was a neighbor, he saw a lot of this. Totally engulfed, it was totally engulfed in flame. It took out a house. There's like, what's left there is just a chimney. It's a house, it's where you live, it's where you spend your days and nights. It's where you keep all your love little things. It's where you create memories. It really stinks. And I hope I never have to actually feel that. Now we get to work. We are at the Conoco, and this is the Conoco that's at Colfax and Watkins. So we're in Watkins. We're about a mile south of that fire. Ashley needed to heat up her dinner. The fire is still going on over my shoulder here. This is what a lot of firefighters call the mop-up stage. I don't know what firefighters other places call it. You know how Smokey the Bear tells you only you can prevent forest fires? No, that doesn't go. You know how Smokey the Bear and all those different kind of forest fire commercials tell you to Put out your fire complete. Firefighters are absolute experts at making sure the fires don't come back. What's next is we have to get our package ready. Our package is our news story. <laughs> now we set up the live shot. Maybe <laughs> just picked up some of these used contact lens. Yo, Man, some gross people who use these trucks. To my fellow people who work with me, stop leaving your grossness behind. Be clean! Hi! <laughs> Later. <laughs> Back at the station. Word on the street is, there's a church out there and they're working really hard to bring together a bunch of resources to help all those neighbors. Really cool. That's the kind of attitude we all need. I'm just that type of person where I feel like we all need to be out there for each other, one another, and we can't just wait for things to kind of fall into place. Taking action, great job out there. I say huge shout out to Watkins, Colorado. You guys rock out there. You're a great example of how we all should stick together and how we all can help each other get through these rough times. Very, very. Very scary. When this Watkins home went up in flames, we noticed a huge plume of black, black smoke. Everybody around here saw it. And I knew somebody's house is on fire. You see just that that chimney and think, oh. Even though fire crews from almost 20 departments were on scene, the fire quickly spread to the grass, across a field, and within 15 minutes, the flames were knocking on this neighbor's door. You can see what happened ahead to fire. But the biggest thing that happened was the Lord saved my house. He lost some trees, his garage, and the antique car he had parked inside. Only had 58,000 miles on it. More than 50 acres scorched. 
Fire crews say something like this was only a matter of time. We've been on high alert for last, you know, for last month. It's been so dry and warm. You know, when is the snow coming? We need the snow so bad, the moisture, rain, we'll take anything here. Instead, they got wind. It spread pretty quick. I mean, the wind was blowing real hard and it's so dry out here. Mix that in with a record high temperature. It's just a recipe for disaster. While two buildings are gone, fire crews were able to save several others. Now the wind's not blowing. Before it was really blowing hard and it's just kind of just like this. It would have been right here if it hadn't been for the fire department. With the elements stacked against them, people who live out here say they feel lucky this fire wasn't worse. All right, that's how we put together what we call a package to put it on the air, especially when it's breaking news. That was a really stressful day. And oh my gosh, thank you for watching. On the next episode, I'm gonna show you how I get down when I'm trying to just relax and I'm not here. I'll show you how I'm a Chillasaurus Rex. Holler. Thanks for watching.